This first chapter is an introduction to some of the mathematical tools that you'll need to work probability problems. And there are three sections in chapter one here. The first section, which is 1.1, is to review quickly some application areas. And these application areas are mainly taken from statistics, although there are several application areas that are out there that we could have chosen. The uh, second is counting techniques, and these counting techniques are important in order to be able to work probability problems. And then section 1.3 is a review of set theory, that is unions and intersections and complements and that type of thing. Those you might have seen in the past. The course te textbook is listed in the syllabus. Um, the difference between this course and other statistics courses that are uh, given on campus is that this course is calculus based and so you will be able to work a wider variety of problems um, after completing this course. There are two pieces of software that are used in this class. The first is R and it also has a uh, look-alike which is uh, S plus but most people will use R. You can simply Google the letter R and download the software. Once you get it uh, downloaded, you should just try a couple quick commands. You should try 2 plus 2 and it should come back with a 4. And then to uh, try some graphics, you can draw a histogram of a thousand standard normal random variates and you will get a histogram drawn. Finally, the Q command will uh, quit and get you out of R. Then the second piece of software is Apple and Apple stands for a probability programming language. In order to access Apple you've got to have access to the Maple software that's a symbolic processor at William and Mary. That can be uh, once you're on the uh, system you can uh, access that software in this fashion with that read command then you should try 2 plus 2 that'll give you 4 should try setting x to a uniform 0, 1 random variable, y to a uniform 0, 2 random variable, and then uh, invoke the convolution routine. And that convolution routine will find the sum of x and y. And then to do a little bit of graphics, you can plot the uh, distribution of a binomial random variable with uh, n equals 8 and p equals 1 third. Finally, quit will get you out of maple. And uh, you should try both of those early on to make sure you have access to both pieces of those, that software. 